Salve te amici amicaique. Greetings, friends. Good news. The book is here. I've completed the book. Yes. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. Not only that, I got a hardback version. Hardcover. Yay. And there was much rejoicing. The Latin magic spells of Tonus Maximus is now available. $9.99 for the paperback. $19.99 for the hardback. I feel like it's well worth it. I love to have it in a hardback. So I'm doing these mini Latin lesson videos in order to give away one spell at a time to you and to help you pronounce it correctly. And giving away means that I'll put the pages on the screen like so. And then hopefully you have your own journal mirror book that you are compiling your own grimoires with blank pages. And as you can see, I began compiling mine by hand. And I think I got to maybe the third spell, perhaps. And then I decided I wanted to publish it. So you can do this for free. And it's very rewarding to sit and write your own beautiful handwriting and meditate with these spells. Or you can just buy them. Yay, all ready to go. And this book has some really good artwork, if I do say so myself. Some old woodcuts that will inspire uh, magic feelings and moods. But also, I drew these uh, borders for all of them. So there's borders around almost all of the spells, which I'm pretty happy about. Lots of artwork. So maybe you already have your copy and now you're watching these videos to learn how to pronounce it. And maybe just to spend time with me. <laughs> I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy these videos. And what I'm going to do in this video is share the pronunciation and I'll probably rant a bit and then I'll discuss a few notes and thoughts on each one and that's it. Hopefully these will be short videos. This first one will be the longest because I'm going through all the pages up through the first spell. So here is the title page. And here I say October in the in the October month. Anno Domini Nostri in the year of Our Lady 2023. You know, it's a nod to all of us goddess worshippers. And then here's the first uh, the next title page with the a nice frontispiece, and I don't know the story behind this piece, but I suspect that it's Saint Anthony because he's famously depicted as being tempted by all the demons in the desert. So it's either that, or maybe he is a wizard and he's wielding the power of all these invisible beings. Of course, I don't recommend using black magic or working with dark entities but this can be maybe a metaphor for the power the hidden powers the hidden beings and powers that are helping us i don't know i'm pretty sure that's probably saint anthony though he's just staying focused on his sacred writing okay the next page is the table of contents as you can see there's a wide variety of spells, a lot of good fortune and luck spells, 
love spells to manifest lovers if you're into that if you really want to do that <laughs> money spells spells to bring the wind to get the attention of the active god success highest self healing spells relaxing new home new job all of the standard uh spells to quiet the barking dog or a loud cat and here's some more quality artwork Okay, and now we come to the initium. The initium in Latin means the initiation or the beginning. I dedicate this work to our ancestors. I dedicate and perform this opus in honor of all who have come before and all who will come after. I honor you, future generations. I honor and worship you who are reading this now or watching and who wield the magic power of this book. In the name of all that is holy and good, I communicate these potent magic words with all of you wise ones who lead yourselves, families, communities, and ultimately all humanity into healthful heights of harmony. Collectively, we travel toward a loving relationship with ourselves, the people of Earth, all galactic civilizations, star societies, and the One. Thank you, Alistair Crowley. I trust that these Latin works please you. Eternal gratitude to my friend, dearest guide, and the sweetest witch I know of, Doreen Valiente. With all my soul, I thank you. Thank you, Doreen Valiente. Blessed be all of our teachers, guides, and light beings, our family ancestor protectors. Ardently, I thank all poets, sages, mystics, wise ones, witches, wizards, philosophers, weirdos, free thinkers, and enlightened ones of all times who have brought us here to this moment of wisdom. In honor of my mother, the first witch in my life, thank you for the primal gift and all the magic you've given me. Dear Sophia, O oh Sapientia, bless and guide the reader of this book, blessed be. Quickly, how to use this book, you'll see on this page, that is the left page, will be the English versions of the spells right here. And over here, next to it, will be the Latin versions. And then I have some mini notes, maybe some small rants or just notes on how to use the spell, just suggestions, obviously follow your intuition and you probably already know what you're doing in your practice. And then here we really begin the book with another frontispiece, the Latin magic spells of Antonio Sedmundus Sunserius. I tried to, when I published my first book, Olympian Affirmations, I put the Latin version of my name and they wouldn't accept it because it didn't match the English version of my name and I fought them and I just changed it in the end but this time I snuck it in a few pages after so I get to see my Latinized name in print ha I win hopefully they don't watch this video and finally we come to the first spell it's short and sweet, and the notes mention, do not underestimate the power of simplicity. 
not to mention the absolutely astounding transformative power of gratitude. I'm working on this. This is the highest state of mind we can be in because when we're in a state of gratitude, we have everything we need. We're not in a wanting mind. We're not asking for more. We're not wishing things were different. We're just accepting the way things are in this very moment. And that's the highest state of mind. So in a way, this is the most powerful collection of words in this book. It's very simple. It's simply saying thank you and stating that I am fortunate. I'm lucky. So since this is sort of a mini, this is sort of a mini Latin lesson, I will remind you, if you are a beginner, that there are two main forms of Latin pronunciation. There's the Roman pronunciation, reconstructed classical, which means that's how the Romans probably spoke. We've reconstructed it from the clear writings of the Romans, um, talking about their grammar. And the other pronunciation is the Italian or ecclesiastic pronunciation ecclesiastical so that's the one that's more modern and it started in the middle ages and has persisted to nowadays and it's probably the one you might be more familiar with because we hear that one in films more um, basically it sounds it's pronounced like modern Italian with the V's are V and some other little subtleties, but I will pronounce both in these videos. I mostly speak in the Roman pronunciation, so I'll always start with that. So here we go. Spell number one, gratitude and luck spell. Gratias tibi ago, gratias vobis ago, sum fortunatus. Ita licet esse. And now the Italian ecclesiastical pronunciation, which is growing on me the more I experience all of these magic words with that voice. Before I would always default to the Roman pronunciation because I always like the more antique, the older, the more antiquated in general. But there's just something very charming and magical about the Italian pronunciation. So here's the Italian or ecclesiastical pronunciation. Grazias tibi ago. Grazias vobis ago. Sum fortunatus. Ita licet esse. One more time, Italianate pronunciation. Grazias tibiago, grazias vobis ago, sum fortunatus, or sum fortunata, ita licet esse. The English translation is, I thank thee, I thank you, I am fortunate, so mote it be. If you didn't know, the is the singular form in old, some old antiquated English forms, and you in that system is the plural. And that's what we have in the Latin. Gratias tibi is to one person. Gratias vobis is to multiple beings. So basically, the idea is we're just saying thank you to God or goddess or the universe, the source of the universe, or your higher self or whoever you feel gratitude in that moment. It's just saying thank you to everything, to the one. And then we say thank you to the multiplicity of the one because we remember that we are all simply manifestations of the one and then here you can choose one there's a note you choose either the feminine or the masculine if you're a girl or a woman or a lady 
You will say sum fortunata. Sum fortunata for female. That means that you are fortunate. I am fortunate. Sum fortunatus for male witches or wizards. Sum fortunatus. Ita licet esse. So mote it be. Yes, and I'm starting to feel grateful. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, goddess. Hmm. Thank you for watching, and I will be going now. That was the simple, a simple spell, but very powerful. So we can repeat that many times and memorize it. And we just remember if we're alive and breathing right now, we are fortunate. If we have the luxury of watching a video like this or studying Latin or yeah, just being alive, we remember how lucky we are. And the more gratitude we have, the more we remember how much we have to be grateful for. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one, the next video. Thank you very much. If you'd like to support, the links are down below. I sure could use it. And thank you very much. Blessed be.